everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we're outside Juicy Seafood in Clarksville, Tennessee. So we're like about an hour-ish outside Nashville. Um, Juicy Seafood also has a location in Nashville though. Here to do their crazy, massive, huge seafood boil challenge. This will be my first seafood boil. Absolutely massive seafood boil. That's what we're doing today. So it has like two pounds of crawfish, two pounds of shrimp, two pounds of uh, snow crab legs. It has sausage. It has deep fried calamari. It has uh, deep fried oysters. It has potatoes, it has corn, it has like just everything. It's huge, it's literally like 10 plus pounds. Absolutely massive, a huge amount of food, but it should be really good. We're gonna have one hour to complete it. This challenge has only ever been completed once out of numerous attempts, and it's completed by Mr. Randy Santel at about 59 minutes and something the seconds out of a 60 minute time limit. So this is a huge challenge, it's gonna be definitely a difficult one, but massive, huge seafood boil. It's my first time ever having a seafood boil. And I am excited. So let's go on in, eat some seafood, lots of seafood, enjoy a seafood boil, and let's have some fun. All right, everyone, so here we are officially with the whole challenge. So all the shrimp, all the crawfish, all of the crab legs, sausage, potatoes, corn. We then have fried oysters, fried calamari, and another thing of fried shrimp. And there's lots of shrimp in this as well. So yeah, this is my first time having a seafood boil. Not really sure on all the techniques, but I know it's okay to use your hands, so oh, I guess yeah. we'll go with that. We'll get dirty. So, Raina, yes. ready to get rocking? Yeah. Oh my God, look at that. All right. Dude, it's so well, let's get started here with. Oh, you just sprayed me. Sorry, with, uh, I'm so sorry. It's all right. We'll start with the lobster together. You get a lobster tail, and this is in a Cajun boil, a Cajun sauce. So this should be very delicious. So, yeah, I can't wait. Again, the only time it's been defeated is by Mr. Randy Santel with two seconds to spare. 59 58, I found out. So. Let's see and Cheers. enjoy. Let's eat. Lobster. Mm. Okay. That's really good. Mm. Oh yeah. Juicy and salty. That is what I like. That's my type. Right here is my I got a seafood bucket. Or a shell bucket. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Juicy Seafood in Clarksville, Tennessee. And yes, there are a few locations around. Um, we actually went to two different Juicy Seafoods during our trip, um, but this is the one in Clarksville, which is about an hour-ish, you know, 40 minutes, an hour-ish outside of Nashville. So definitely a really cool place, and here we're doing their great, big, huge, massive, 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 10 plus pound seafood boil challenge. So this is a challenge um, which has been around for a little while. There's been numerous attempts and to date only one winner. Yes, that is right. So me and Rena were hoping to also join that winner's list and see if we could defeat this thing. And they do have some tools. I have a, I have a, some scissors and a cracker and a fork, which I may very well need. So there are literally so many items in this challenge. We have potatoes, we have corn, we have eggs, we have shrimp, we have crawfish, we have crab, we have lobster, we have um, like boiled shrimp, then we have deep fried shrimp, we have uh, deep fried oysters, we have calamari. Like it was just, it was insane how many items there were in this challenge. So definitely no shortage of variety. If you like a big variety, like a diverse array of foods, this is definitely satisfactory. So this was my first time having many of these foods and or like one of my first times. For example, uh, this was, I mean, almost my first time having crab legs. The only time I had it prior was I had three, yes, literally three at the Bacchanal Buffet just to say I had them when I was there. Um, like I've never eaten crab legs prior to that. And, uh, and yeah, like, so like I said, not experiencing the crab. Um, 
I had never had crawfish before. This is my first time officially having crawfish. I'm like crawfish out of a shell. I've never eaten them like that prior to this. And I've never had uh, shelled shrimp before. These shrimp were still in the shell. This is my first time also having shrimp in the shell. Like I said, pretty much this whole thing I've never had before. I've never had deep fried oysters before. Like the list just goes on. Yeah, that buttery sauce is fantastic. Dude, that sausage is really good too. Some andouille sausage. Oh wow. Woo. Just dripping in buttery, juicy goodness. So as a complete seafood noob or somebody very, very, very inexperienced in eating uh, like very shelled uh, seafood, this was a very, very rough way to uh, get into it, let's say. I definitely think this is a challenge better suit for somebody who is more seafood proficient, proficient in eating seafood. Um, and, you know, again, well, for me, it definitely came as a part of the challenge. Um, definitely very difficult to actually uh, de-shell and access a lot of the edible parts of these foods, whereas the eating them wasn't the issue, it was definitely accessing them, um, which undoubtedly I found very, very, very difficult. So like I said, maybe I should have, in retrospect, probably had a little bit more experience eating seafood or eating these types of seafood, or just had a better game plan or strategy um, going into this rather than just, I, I didn't think it would be so difficult to eat a lot of these foods. I was also trying to be very clean, thorough, and meticulous in this challenge. I really am of the, uh, generally of the leave no doubt kind of mindset. I try to eat foods in their entirety and it was, that was also uh, probably something which I guess with seafood is only like half relevant. Um, like for example, you know, in the very, very, very ends of crab legs, often people don't eat the very, very, very ends. Um, I was trying to eat them. Like there's certain parts and bits you just generally, I guess, don't eat when you're eating these foods. I was, uh, yeah, I just, I just, I was trying, I felt, I was trying a little too hard to be meticulous and ultra thorough, um, to trying not to waste to essentially, I think, um, you know, s combat this challenge in a proactive and or reasonable way. Um, so hey man, these are all things you'll learn. Um, but yeah, uh, now let's talk a bit about the food. Let's talk about the tastes um, because we had some seriously, seriously interesting and great flavors going on in this. Now I can say I had crawfish and a crawfish boil. This guy's black, is that still okay to eat? Ooh. Yeah, sometimes the crawfish just has it. Alright. That one. Bleh. Bleh. That was not a good one. Sometimes you just can't help it. But the rest are fantastic. So at Juicy Seafood, you pick the level of heat, like for your sauce. So there's like a extra, like a none, like extra mild, there's a mild. Then there is a medium and a hot. Um, we went with kind of like a mild to medium because we were unsure of how hot those actually gonna be. The lady said the hot was like extremely hot, like and spicy. So I didn't want to deal with you know a huge amount of spice on top of all the volume, um, but definitely I think a little bit hotter, a little more flavor would be nice. <laughs> like I feel like I'm gonna have to shower after this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Covered in seafood juices. That being said, the buttery sauce is so delicious. Oh my gosh, the sauces, the flavors here were so great. Um, the sauce that they poured over all the seafood, just, oh, I could literally drink the sauce. The just like beautiful Cajun spices and a beautiful buttery mix. Everything was soft and succulent and juicy once you got through the hard shells, that is. Um, and the corn, the potatoes, the eggs, they all really also uh, absorbed and really developed that beautiful flavor when they were you know mixed in with the butter etc so i love the flavors of all of this um, the uh, crab tasted good the crawfish tasted good the shrimp were good the as i said the, all the vegetable aspects were good um, you know just like everything that i've eaten to this point was tasting really nicely but i tell you like that sauce is what definitely makes it that sauce is definite fire i also probably should have wore the bib 
Good call, Reyna. Yeah. Okay, you get very messy with this. Yeah. They gave us gloves too, but it's easy to do this double one. Yeah, I agree. This challenge also offered a little bit of a psychological game or component as well. Um, because I, like I said, I just could not move through this challenge. Um, you know, we're all about 10 minutes in and I barely was able to get through anything. Uh, again, just being overly monotonous and really not having the uh, technique or the ability to eat the food. So the, the interesting component and in, is the food is right in front of me, but I just physically could not eat it or physically access it. Um, so like I said, it was definitely an interesting one. Um, you know, I'll let you go through the, the whole, you know, rigmarole. Hopefully we'll be able to complete it in time. Because like I said, for me to complete as little as I did in that amount of time, it was definitely a little bit concerning. Um, and like I said, it all came back really to my uh, lack of technique. Apparently when Randy did this challenge, they also had to give him a lesson on how to eat crawfish. So I guess it's a thing. Got some eggs. And ultimately, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have to give to you today. Um, so yeah, definitely let's tune on in guys. Let's see if I can complete this challenge. Um, I understood very quickly why Randy Santel took um, you know, 59 minutes and 58 seconds out of a 16 minute time limit. And I figured I was going to be there as well if I could even finish it. Not being able to move through the food, not having the technique of how to eat seafood. Uh, I also, you know, but I learned a lot from this challenge. I learned, um, you know, a, a lot about eating seafood. I learned a lot about the techniques, having some practice. And I learned uh, not to be, you know, maybe as meticulous as I originally was trying to be. Um, whereas, you know, it's just, it is what it is, right? But with everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of it. Let's see what happens. This is a very difficult one. Like I said, guys, this is a mental, mentally, this was a very f hard and, and taxing, mentally taxing challenge. So let's see what happens. Let's tune on in. Wish us luck. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to need it. And uh, like I said, let's see if I can even eat this seafood. And honestly, on a last note, I have to give it to you. Anybody who regularly eats crab legs or really likes crab legs or a lot of these seafoods, you put in a lot of effort to actually get to it. I definitely am used to eating foods which don't require such effort to eat once they're in front of you cooked. So uh, like I said, I give you guys credit. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Let me know down below. Are you a crab-like person or is it not worth your time? Because I don't know where I stand. So let me know. Well, I haven't even had to use any liquids, which is kind of crazy. It's juicy. It is. Very juicy, very moist. Probably 20 minutes in. Still going well. Just a lot of. Uh, a lot of picking. Well, I definitely need to work on my crab technique. Definitely not a pro crab eater. How are you doing, Raina? I'm good. This is fun. Well, I have no idea. Like you said, this is my hype. I love seafood.
definitely the difficulty at this point is just the technique. But it is very tasty. Thirty-two minutes in, going real well. Rain is about to finish. She's crushing it. I'm getting through it slowly but surely. But very delicious, without a doubt. I mean, it's just about to finish. Done. Rain is all done. Huge yeah. congrats to her. Yeah. I have some crab legs left. I have fried rice juice, a couple potatoes. You should have eaten it. Not yet, but I'll try one now. Hmm. Interesting. My first time having a fried rice juice, I've only had them raw before. Kind of reminds me of a clam. Yeah, like fried clams. Oh. Alright. Oh. 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 I'm good. Okay. That felt amazing. Oh, I love seafood. My dad used to uh, cut all the crabs when they went off a little. So it's like easy eat. <sighs> It's funny, that is the most frustrating thing ever. Oh yeah, I know. Hashtag trying to leave no doubt has me doubting my life and the purpose. I think we're probably about 40 minutes in. Slowly but surely getting through this crab meat. I like how Joseph eats the potato bowl. Oh my god! I can eat anything else easily, it's just a crab. It's perfect. Yeah. I don't know how you do that. I give it to you. My family was big seafood. Yeah. <clears throat> but I've always hated it because of how hard it is to eat. My first time having crab legs less than a year ago. Oh, really? I'm a noob. <laughs> Have you had the fat ones too? I like the fat ones. Like the big ones? Yeah. yeah. Do you eat the eggs? I got the legs when I got a king crab. Oh, really? The eggs are the yummy part. The yellow gooey Alright, gonna be last bite, these are all done.
All right, and we're done. I will say, heck of a challenge. Very, very time consuming. Requires some technique. Good job, Dorena. She absolutely crushed it. Thank you. You too. Wow, your hands are worse than mine. I'm just kidding. Are they? <laughs> anyway, I'm just kidding. Everybody. So, that everybody, thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks everybody here at Juicy Seafood. Really enjoyed the challenge. Again, absolutely fantastic, delicious. I don't think you can eat little crawfish no, thingy no, things. No. Otherwise, I would. But the sauce is fantastic. Really enjoyed it. The food, food was great. So. That everybody, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry. Raina, any words? No, I'm good. Just saying, um, this place is amazing. Come check it out. If you're in the area, Clarksville, Tennessee, they got a few other locations as well. But yeah. And check out that boat. They got a freaking oh, yeah. boat in this restaurant. But seriously, super delicious. Very, very good. Flavors were fantastic. Heck of a, heck of a seafood boil, that's for sure. But uh, Raina has a new record now. Um, smoked Randy's old record of just under 60 minutes. Uh, so yeah, officially now there's three. Winners out of a lot of attempts, and yeah, so until next time, everybody, thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Oh, and of course, they have to be hungry, happy eating. You know, it's just t shirt, which is covered in seafood. And here we have a 15 pound lobster, yes, it's a good size. Can I hold it? Yeah, you can hold it. You can take a picture, okay? Just got downtown Nashville. This place is crazy. We're about to get on the Broadway. We have all the uh, different uh, music places, music stars, musicians. We have Florida Georgia Lines Place. Here's Johnny Cash's uh, thingy thing. There's crazy, so many people. I'm gonna show you more. Here's people waiting to get into the bar. Kid Rocks Honky Tonk. It's like four floors. That's insane. This place is crazy. And then look at all these people. Then we have a party bus, which is just rolling the street, people dancing on it. This is uh, Jason Aldean's uh, kitchen and rooftop. Big lineup. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Also, I want you to join the Happy Healthy Hungry family. That's right, guys. Hit that subscribe button right there. Hit that little thing that looks like my face. And then I picked two videos out specifically for you. Yes, that's right. I picked out two videos just for you. I know you're going to like them. So real quick, hit one of these right here. This video is going to go away in a couple seconds. So please hit them. Three, two, one. Click one. Let's go.